James Webb and the Artemis mission, but also in China with Changi and Tiagong, uh, in Japan, in India, in Europe, obviously, with the recent launch of JUICE, the selection of new astronauts, and the uh, inspirator of the uh, ESA DG on, uh, on exploration. So it's a momentum all over the world. And it's also a momentum which does not concern space agencies only. It concerns more and more entrepreneurs. Look at uh, Starship, obviously, uh, New Shepard, Axiom, uh, Orbital Reef in the US, uh, uh, ice space in Japan, even though uh, they missed the moon by a couple of meters, but uh, uh, and also, uh, in Europe, we have more and more uh, new enterprise uh, interested and in working uh, for space exploration. I shall not mention names because I don't want to be uh, uh, accused of uh, uh, promoting someone or another one. But, but it's interesting because these enterprises, they provide commercial solutions to strategic problems. And that is something which is also very important. So there is so many activities and plans during these uh, last uh, years that we could have organized a conference very easily by just speaking of current events. We could have invited the, 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 the space agencies and the enterprise just to make uh, a review of the current events. But it was too easy. We wanted to make a difference, uh, to have uh, uh, another set of eyes on the subject of exploration. So we had two years to transform a conference into the conference on space exploration. So it's lo even longer than the preparation of a council at ministerial level on which I have accumulated some experience. So longer than preparing a council at ministerial level, but there is a common point. It's a teamwork. And uh, uh, a teamwork with all the beauty and all the difficulty to work with old friends. Because I can tell you in the program committee, each individual was convinced to have the brightest ideas. That it's, uh, so the, it, it looks like at ESA also, it's to take uh, the best part of each of these brightest ideas to make a program. The good news, good news, is that we are still friends today, meaning that uh, these two years of activities have not destroyed the friendship between uh, the members of the team. So the questions to be solved two years ago was, were, when, where, and what. When, it was easy, because we did not want to disturb the uh, ESA planning. And we knew that there was a council at ministerial level at the end of 2022. We knew that the, there will be a summit at the end of 2023. So, this is where we arrived in spring 2023, which is uh, certainly a way to help, but without disturbing. So this was when. Where? Where was a little bit more difficult, but not so difficult. We, we wanted, and I wanted to have more young people than old people in that conference. That was uh, a goal. Because obviously, the young people, they have more chance to explore than the old people. So, uh, and I am glad because it's a success. I see much more young people than old people in the room. So that was a success. And to do that, we had to go to a university because this is where we are close to students. We were considering different universities, and uh, but we arrived pretty quickly to uh, Polito 
here in Torino. Uh, thanks to uh, the support of many Italian friends. And, uh, and I, even, I, I learned this morning that it was, uh, this is the first time that a conference of the Academy is taking place outside France. So we are, we are the pioneer. Uh, and, uh, and that is it's good also. Now come the more difficult part, which is what? The content of, of the conference. Uh, it took more time, more time. We knew first and much better what we did not want. Always easier to, to know what you don't want. And we did not want to do what the ISA DG is doing. He's paid for that. We are not paid. So uh, we, uh, meaning that the, the consequence of that is no politics, no programmatics, and even better, no money. So that was the first thing that we did not want. Number two, we did not want to regret the past among the old guys, uh, to regret our dreams, which did not come true, to replay the match, especially those who have, that we did not win. So that, let's forget that also. And number three, we did not want to promote specific interests of individual actors including, by the way, those who have sponsored this conference. And this is on that basis that we have started to think and to identify seven themes which have become the seven sessions of this conference. And I shall just go through uh, in the order of the, of the program. So the first one was related to the human dimension of uh, of exploration. And when I say human dimension, it's much beyond astronauts, much beyond the human missions. This is how exploration relates to our daily lives. And that was the starting point of that first session, which is uh, focused on the philosophy and the cultural motivations of space exploration. The second session was giving carte blanche to the young generation. And we gave carte blanche. We told them, you have a dedicated mission. The program committee will not tell you what you wish to do with that dedication, dedicated mission. It's your session. And we have given that to the uh, Space Generation Advisory Council. And they have organized that. And that has become the dream mission session, which was based on an open, open call of ideas. Then the next session was environment, an environment-friendly approach to exploration, meaning that not repeating what we have done on planet Earth and around the Earth. paying no attention to uh, traffic management, to debris uh, removal, and uh, in space, bef before they, they, they become so crowded and so polluted that, unfortunately, that becomes an obstacle to the development of space activities in Earth's orbit. So we did not want to do that meaning that it's taking the lessons learned from planet Earth to the moon. Let's put it that way. So we have a session dedicated to the environment-friendly exploration. The fourth session was more technical. It's on flying machines. That is an interesting one because this is the only way to increase the mobility of exploring a, a body, a celestial body. And uh, we have uh, reflected on uh, 
flying machines uh, where and how. The next session is going faster and further. And I must say that that one is, uh, as I have a special attention to that one. Uh, because I just recall what I have said after the fantastic success of Rosetta. I said, it's a fantastic success, no doubt on that. And uh, we can be proud of what we have done with Rosetta, but, but, we should no, never forget that it took five years to decide Rosetta, 10 years to develop, and 10 years to travel, which is 25 years between the idea and the first data that we could give to the scientist. And I said the, the best quality of a scientist is to be in good health because he has to survive during 25 years between his idea and the first data that we deliver. Obviously, by saying that, I am not saying that the scientists should not be in good health, but we should try to provide them data much, much quicker. So this is the session on going faster and further. Then water. There is a full session dedicated on water. Because water is certainly a key element for exploration. And certainly the first in situ resource to make exploration sustainable. Last but not least, the seven ones is humans and robots cooperation, collaboration. You, you notice that it's not anymore the endless debate on humans or robots. I must say that that debate is, uh, I hope, over. But this is how can we draw the best benefit of the two, humans and robots. And we, we, we have looked at that uh, depending on the distance with uh, planet Earth, including, by the way, on planet Earth. As you can see, a majority of these themes address exactly the same problems which are currently debated on planet Earth. Environment, water, robots, all that is our daily lives on planet Earth, making the connection between exploration and our daily lives on planet Earth. Speaking of daily lives, one important aspect of our daily life on planet Earth is the fact that we are less and less alone on planet Earth. You have noticed that. When I was at school, we were 2.5 billion of inhabitants on planet Earth. We are today 8 billion, meaning that in one life, we have multiplied the number of uh, people on planet Earth by a factor of three. And it's interesting because we shall have a debate tonight on are we alone in the universe? So we are clearly not alone on planet Earth, and thanks God, but uh, the question is, are we alone on, in the universe? And we shall have a, an interesting debate between uh, Jean-Pierre Bibring and Nathalie Cabrol this, uh, tonight. So apart from these sessions, we shall have three personalities that you all know, uh, Francis Rocard, uh, Joseph Ashbarer, and Samantha Cristoforetti, and we have given them, let's say, uh, carte blanche also, on, uh, to give their personal experience on, uh, on exploration. So, finally, and it was the last session that we have uh, introduced, finally, even if we have avoided to do the job of the ESA Director General, we have tried to be useful. And uh, uh, since the conference is a step between the uh, report of the high-level advisory group uh, for exploration that the DG has put in place and the summit which is planned at the end of the year, meaning that to be useful, we have organized a round table focused on this uh, report on exploration and to see how this conference could be useful to the DG. So as you can see, it's a menu with many courses, many courses. But I recommend you 
to take the full menu. Don't take one session or two sessions. First of all, because this is the same price. You will not pay less if you, take, if you don't take the full menu. So uh, take the full menu. Number two, because the full menu gives you a global picture, which is much more than the addition of individual sessions. Because they are all, and I can tell you that we have organized that that way, they are all interconnected. And also because each course, each session has been prepared by a workshop. And that was an interesting part of the preparation. We have organized workshops on each of the theme of uh, the conference. And during these workshops, uh, there was already a lot of debate which uh, could uh, put much more value to the session than just a collection of uh, uh, speeches or uh, uh, this is already the result. Each session is the result of exchange and interaction, meaning that uh, the value is there. So it has been a long journey, like a marathon. And uh, like for a marathon, thanks God, training is over. We are now today uh, at the start of, of that marathon. I must say that I have learned a lot during the preparation. And this is the reason, thank you, uh, Philippe, uh, because I have learned a lot, thanks to you. And I am even more prepared to learn during the next three days. Because from now on, you all, you are all the actors of this conference. I wish no spectator even less commentator, which is the, the worst. But uh, so you are all actors. And, uh, and I wish you all to contribute and participate actively to each session. And uh, to, to do that, uh, you will have, uh, you, you can already raise questions uh, on each session. I think that there is a, uh, a questionnaire uh, that you can write your questions to, to, to make sure that you will you will participate and contribute. So the floor will not be on stage only. The floor will be there, you. And the success of the conference will be yours, not ours. So I have now to thank all those who have made today possible. Obviously, all members of the program committee, they are the experts. I was not, by far. I have learned a little bit, but I am far from having become an expert. The members of the Academy, of the AIDA, the uh, POLITO, and, uh, and the Space Generation Advisory Council, because they have paid a lot of time and efforts to organize uh, that conference. All sponsors also, because we need money, and uh, we, uh, we thank all the sponsors, and we thank you all to be here today. Among all those who have contributed, contributed, I would like to mention two names, Eric and Lindsay. I must say that uh, they are the two uh, who have said yes to Philippe Couillard. I did not say no, but they have said yes. Uh, which is very different. And I can tell you that the two, of the, the two of them, they have filled my mailbox every day, every day. I, I have never received as many mails as during this preparation. But they always come with a solution, never with a problem. So thank you, Eric and Lindsay, for, uh, for your effort. Now, I would not like to close without mentioning how much I regret Jean-Jacques Favier tonight, to, today. He was part of the preparation, uh, and he's with us today uh, because uh, he has done so much for exploration. Uh, he has been a great explorer, and he has been such a nice person. So Jean-Jacques, you are with us today. So thank you very much, and have a good conference.